Hello, Pastor. Thank you so very much and the congregation for believing in us and helping us as we shared. Uh, the camps were closing down in Dadaab and so many people were being displaced at this time of the year. And we and the team came in, we decided not to abort our mission, to come in in spite of all the threats. By the grace of God, we are here and where we are represents so many displaced people. The Bible tells us that we are not to forget the widow, the orphan, and the refugee. And right now there's 150 million people that are displaced worldwide. It is time for the church to rise up like never before and to be God's hand, his arms, and his speed extended. So thank you for once again allowing me to be your missionary to the nations of the earth. God bless you. South Sudan today is 80% non-literate and especially amongst the women and the cycle of poverty and non-literacy will continue until we break the cycle. We We're here buying the food for the people, but mostly those that have been displaced that have just come in and that are settling. So we're just giving them just the pure basic necessities for a meal, like the beans, the rice, and of course we're buying it here wholesale. And then we're going to divide it up to make sure everybody gets something. No unforgiveness is nursed from this breast. Only forgiveness, you only feed forgiveness to this child. You hear me? No unforgiveness. No unforgiveness. He said he had to release as men. Sometimes that's very difficult for us to release. Specifically, sometimes it's very difficult because we don't feel like we should cry. And as a man uh, that should have taken care of her instead of violating her, should have protected her. They're standing in the gap and saying, we will be your brother. You will be our sister. And we're asking you to forgive.